Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, here with Sip the Tele Films, and today I'm going to do my recap of yesterday's game versus um, the Broncos. Uh, we start off with the score. We won the game by uh, 23 to 7. They scored first with a touchdown pass to Fant. Uh, we, re we replied with a touchdown run from Murray, uh, a deep pass, like 50 yard pass from Hollywood to, I mean, to Hollywood from Lamar. And then three Tucker field goals to kind of finish out the score. They didn't score again after they scored initially the first time. So that was a good job by the defense of kind of shutting them out for the rest of the game. And they, we were kind of, we kind of dominated them on defense for most of the game other than that one drive. Um, individual stats, let's look at it for a minute. Um, Murray had 59 yards rushing. He led the team. Jackson had 28. Uh, Bell had four for 11. And Freeman had one for four. And we finished with 102 yards. Uh, we got it at the end with like a five-yard run, the hundred-yard, I mean, hundred-yard streak. Got it at the end with a five-yard run from Lamar. The Denver Broncos were upset about it. Um, their coaching staff said something crazy. Um, that I think it said that he called it whatever it was. It was, a, it was a curse word because it said expletive. So I didn't really hear what he said, but stop it. That's all you gotta do is just stop it. Um, or you should have ran the ball and tried to run the clock out because. There's no drive where you can get 17 points, but you okay. Next next topic. Uh, passing wise, Lamar threw for 316 on 22 completions, which is is great because they were very run heavy. They were hell bent on stopping the run, and Lamar made them pay. Lamar made them pay. The guy that they say is can't throw threw for 316 when the run game wasn't hitting on all cylinders, mainly because of the 79 people in the box. But um, he threw and was fairly accurate, fairly accurate. The deep ball to Hollywood was a thing of beauty. He, he was dropping dimes all over the place. So um, we may have to put out a video this week called Dimes Delivered since last week we were talking about dimes undelivered. But let's move on down the stat line. Prochet, James Prochet, a lot of people, a lot of people's favorite receiver, 74 yards. And I, I think that's a career high for him in catches and yards. Uh, Prochet got his hands on the ball and got straight up the field. Wasn't a lot of dancing after he got it. He caught one ball. Um, I think it was a third down, maybe like a third and eight. And he caught it at like six yards and just lowered his shoulder to get the first down. Another catch, um, he scooped up off the ground. That was darn good. Dude got, dude got hands, man. Dude got a good set of hands. He had five catches for 74 yards. And really what they're trying to do is they're trying to put their, their stamp on that position before Bateman comes back. I really think that's what he's trying to do, trying to put his stamp on him. Like, I deserve to be in the rotation once Bateman comes back. Uh, Andrews had eight targets for six, five catches for 67 yards, which, you know, he had 100 yards a week before, so he followed that up with a, um, a okay game. But the ball, the ball was really spread around because you had Prochet with five, Andrews with five. Hollywood had four for 91 with the big catch being the 49-yarder. Uh, Sammy Watkins had four for 49. He had some huge situational catches, huge situational catches that, um, you know, kept like on third down or whatnot. To, to move the sticks. He caught a, like a little curve right at like six yards and then lost two yards so he can go back and, and like outwork, outwork Sertain to get the extra yards needed for the first down. He kind of, he put a clinic on on Sertain. I ain't going to say he like embarrassed him but he, he worked, the veteran worked worked, worked the rookie over uh, yesterday. Uh, Duvernay, uh, six targets, three for 31. Richard had a one catch for four yards. Bell had a, a target and Oliver had a target. But all in all, we, we had 316 yards receiving which is great. Uh, and the Avery had the interception in, in the end zone, which was great. Uh, Dude, they had a huge punt return, huge punt return. They tried to directional kick it uh, right, and they didn't really uh, block it up. Well, not, they didn't really cover it right enough and allow him to get to the other side of the field, which would be the the, the defense, the punter's left, the, the receiver's right, and he was able to get all the way back to the other side and had a huge return, which set up a, a score, if I'm not mistaken. Um, individuals defensively. Most of the time, my eye was on Queen. So, Queen didn't play great, but he didn't play bad either. Uh, still some missed tackles. But I didn't see a lot of missed tackles by just throw, like throwing that shoulder at, at people. He was actually, I think he was actually trying to wrap up and see people were still, you know, breaking the tackles and whatnot. I didn't see a lot of that throwing the body like we had saw the week before, but he still didn't play great. Um, but the defense as a whole played great. 
individually there were some spots that you know obviously you can see they take uh, Malik out in past situations and put in a uh, 49 which is who is 49 board Chris board and um you know Queen running around doing this thing some good some bad you know uh Calais and, and all those guys up there were eating Oway got another sack um let me set the matter BK get another sack let me let me go to defensive stats if they got them up here, let me see. That's offense. Let me find the defensive stats. Here he is. Uh, let's see the defensive stats. Chris Board led the team in tackles. Seven. Interesting. Uh, Chuck Clark has Chuck Clark is balling right now. Chuck Clark is balling really. Had a T tackle for loss. Um, Calais Campbell had five tackles with three quarterback hurries. Uh, I keep peeking at the Raiders and the Chargers. That's what I'm peeking at. Um... Bowser had two sacks. Bowser came up with two sacks. Uh, Queen, not Queen. Yeah, Queen had three tackles, which is your middle linebacker should have more, but the defense as a whole was was swarming to the ball, him included. But again, like they, he missed tackles still, so I, you know he's not scot free from from blame. And but it is what it is. I'm kind of tired of beating that dead horse. Either he gonna fix it or they gonna find a find they gonna find a replacement. I think personally, you know, as long as he gets better every game a little bit better. By that stretch run, he'll be doing what he needs to do. Um, I think he – now, I, I said I was going to stop talking about Queen, but I'm back on it. I think he did better at gap responsibility, too, this week. Just didn't tackle like he needed to. But as far as gap responsibility, I think he was better at that. Um, who else had tackles? Everybody else had one or two. Matabike had one or two. Sacks, Bowser had two. Matabike did have a sack. Houston had a sack and Owe had a sack. That's five sacks. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, quarterback Hurries, Campbell had three, Bowser had two, Matabika had two, Houston had one, Owe had two, and Tavon Young had one. Tavon should have had a sack too, I think. Tavon came in and I think missed a sack on the quarterback or got faked out right at the last minute or something. And Anthony Avery had a pass defended and an interception. Matabika had a pass defended. So there must have been something he knocked down at the line. And Marlowe had one. And Jay Smith. Jay Smith had one also. Jimmy Smith. Come my I now, but the overall synopsis is as a whole, the game wasn't wasn't flashy. Defensively, as a as a collective defensive unit, they did their thing. Did their thing. You saw, you know, they they we got pressure with four a lot of times. Uh, even if we didn't get a sack, we were we were making the quarterback get off his spot with four guys rushing, which is huge because we hadn't had that you know recently. You mixing in the younger guys with. With um, Calais and, and some of the other guys, is they starting to find ways to get pressure with just four and not putting those DBs on so much of an island. So that was that was a good sight to see. And Denver was undefeated, but I don't really think they played like no real heavy hitters yet. That's that's why I think their record was three and zero. But it is the NFL; you got to come to play every week. So um, that's where I stand on that. Uh, offensively, I think Hollywood had a bounce back game. Um, Lamar throwing dots, like I said, dimes delivered. The run game w didn't look very well, but you know they were determined to stop it. They had a lot of guys in the box, a lot of guys around, you know, with eyes on the box. So that's kind of why the run game didn't have uh, the pop that it normally had. And a lot of people saying the run game didn't have that pop because of um, um, who's my boy that that was inactive. Got that got a bunch of names flying through my head. Tyson. Tyson Williams was inactive, and they were saying that Tyson's our best runner. He should have been there. He should have been active, you know, ahead of um, Devontae Freeman, in which I agree with that. I don't think he's our best runner. I still think the best runner is right now is Latavius, and soon, soon it'll be Le'Veon. But um, I definitely think he probably should have played before Devontae. And I still think we need to go find a guy that can, like, can fly. Because on those outside runs where we have, like, a power read or something like that, we need a cat deck at scoop. And then even if if they're going to do that, put Duvernay right there. You need a guy that, that can get to the edge on that that power read. And if like the end crash, he can let it, let it go and that guy can get to the edge. Bell, Freeman, Tyson, Murray can't get to the edge. So I, w I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's up out of there to get us a, a more speedier. I know that's not a word, a more speedier. Or just a speedier guy uh, at running back. But uh, overall, I'm pleased with the, with the victory, um, and excited to to get the all 22 and kind of you know put some stuff together and see where um you know where we at. That's 
my synopsis of it. Um, like I say, always prove me wrong. I'll, I'll eat crow on that all year. You, I won't shy away from it. Um, Lamar's, you know, his accuracy is, is, is on point. My boy Avery got another pick. So, um, hey, I'm just happy with the performance, happy with the victory. Uh, getting ready to, to, to grind some film out and, and get ready for the next game, which I think is the Colts. I think it's the Colts on Monday night. But um, if I'm wrong, put it in the comment section. What's our next game? I think it is the Colts Monday night. But, um, hey, this is Coach Evans with Sip Tally Films. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, everybody that came to the live th live viewing, the watch party yesterday, we had a great time. Uh, hopefully, we can do that again next Monday. Hopefully. And um, we'll go from there, man. Hey, a video coming soon. Try to get you two or three. Uh, Patreon people, you'll definitely get your two. Uh, try to get you two. Try to get you two. Depending on how my regular job go. And um, I'm just thankful, man. Thankful for you guys. Thankful for the channel. Thankful for the growth. I'm just thankful for we have regular football again. But um, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Just go check them, see the telefilms. Hit that like button. Peace. With the